Hi everybody, I uh, wanted to touch base with you about your final project that's going to be coming up quicker than we know. It's called You Be the Justice. And this is going to give you the chance to take all the things that we've talked about and the different things that you've learned and apply them, uh, the cases and the precedents and our understanding of law to a uh, possible Supreme Court case. So we're taking some real facts that have really happened or are really happening in the news and we are kind of uh, hypothesizing what would happen had if they make it all the way to the Supreme Court. So the all the instructions are under this uh, heading, you be the justice under assignments. Um, it's The date is... Uh, December 8th, I believe it is. Um, so I want you to go through all of this. You'll notice right here it says cases for court. And when we click on that, it takes us down to this document. And this gives us all of the different cases that have been outlined uh, and explains those cases. It gives you some support files to link to. And it gives you your role so that you know who exactly you're going to be playing. This is a first person role playing activity. So you will really become this justice. Uh, Reagan really becomes Sonia Sotomayor. Matt really becomes Samuel Lee. Uh, Dan really becomes Anthony Kennedy and you need to talk like them and uh, be able to describe their background where they came from their judicial philosophy and then apply all of that to their understanding of the facts of this case and how they would decide um, as a member of the court on constitutional grounds. Um, now we're going to talk quite a bit about this starting uh, next week in class but I wanted to make sure that you can see all of the instructions, the guidelines, the research you're going to need to do. I've given you some examples of previous podcasts but uh, the assignment changed this semester so it used to be an individual doing a podcast or a few people. Now it's a team so it's a little bit different. Don't get thrown by that. Uh, here's the rubric that you can click on. Um, and and then down here, this is our timeline. So what I need you to do this week is to research your case and meet with your team to discuss it. Um, you know, start to get a feel for who you are and what exactly your judicial understanding is in general and in this case. Um, I will have uh, remote hours uh, in the coming week. Um, so it, it won't be Wednesday, but it'll uh, be sometime during the week, uh, probably Tuesday, where we can talk about this. So please plan to make some time um, so that we can meet uh, as a team and, and kind of talk about where you're going with this. But we will spend all day on the 14th, that entire class period, working on this, and I'll have more remote hours that week in order to talk about it. And then um, we're going to have time for the rest of the semester. Your final uh, project draft is going to be a, a script draft that's going to be due on the 21st. Your final podcast work will be done on the 5th in class. That's our last day of class. And then on the 8th, it's going to be due in Carmen. You do have an option if you don't wish to join with a teammate. You want to do one by yourself, um, you can do that. Or um, you know you can spin off one or two people if that's what you'd prefer. But I really think that the, the whole court is going to have a really interesting discussion. Um, or if you really are opposed to this, uh, you can write a 15-page paper from your justice's perspective. It would be a first-person paper. Um, so I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable about the podcasting dynamic. It's really just a matter of having a discussion and recording it in a way that I can hear all of you. Um, I have given you quite a few links about podcasting and editing and, and these are all things that you can download and um, access um, and be able to do post-production. I'll certainly talk about that with you in class. I'll be happy to work with each team one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but you know, please kind of embrace the idea of this, which is your chance to uh, embody someone else and, and really start to apply the law that we have been learning into cases that uh, you know conceivably really could go before the court. If you have any questions, let me know, and I can't wait to see how you guys move forward on this. Have a great day.